All right, nobody asked what's going on with my makeup today because I don't even know. I went into the bathroom. It's funny, I even changed my shirt because I went in there with sort of like a white florally top um, thinking that I was gonna base my makeup around that and then I started playing with stuff and then I sort of, I ended up here. Uh-oh, I don't. Oliver's here too. So I ended up with like super dark brows. I've got like this lip. I wore like a darker blush. I'm trying out a new bronzer and a highlighter today, which don't have a ton of pigmentation, but they're kind of, they're kind of nice. But anyway, this is what we ended up with. So one of you guys actually asked me to talk about some Blastoma products for the sale that's happening today. I'm gonna post this on the day that the sale launches. Um, so some details for the sale. In case you didn't even know what was going on or like maybe you hadn't heard about this. So Blastoma is doing a sale um, from June 14th to the 16th, so just through this weekend. And it's 30% off all Blastoma products, which is a pretty awesome deal. Um, most sales, you know, do 10, 15, 20% off. It's very rare you see 30% off. Um, and Blastoma has a lot of products. They're definitely a very underrated brand. Pretty much nobody talks about them in the blogosphere. Like I hardly, I don't remember the last time I saw like a bigger blogger talk about Blastoma and maybe it's because, I don't know, they're not being paid to, who knows? Who knows? Um, and I myself haven't talked about Blastoma a ton because I, I hadn't tried that many products. I have talked about their photonic um, light shifting solution, their SPF 25 before. I have talked about that on my channel, um, but I had tried only a very limited number of products from them until recently. They did just go through a repackaging, um, sort of rebranding, and they sent a few of their products um, for review and to sort of get a feel for the new brand, and or not the new brand, but the new branding. Um, some products I hadn't tried before, I did request a couple of things. So I thought what I would do is, I'm not gonna make this a super in-depth video because I am still sort of testing these products. I haven't developed full thoughts on them, but I can give you, you know, how I feel about them right now, what my experiences with them are. Um, I can tell you if I like them or not. And then I thought I would also tell you what's sort of like on my wish list. I don't think I'm gonna be doing any shopping over the sale just because I have so much skincare as it is. I kind of, I have to curb the skincare purchasing as much as I. I want some stuff um but i thought i would give you my like little wish list of you know what i what what is next on my list um from blasoma that i want to try so i've got seven of their products right now and then i've got like a wish list of four they do have quite a selection of products i want to say it's close to in like the 20 to 25 product range I don't know exactly, I didn't go and count how many products they have. Um, but I have seven, a few that I've had for a while and then a few new ones. So I'll go ahead and start with the one. Um, if you're looking to try anything from Blasoma and especially for the summer, this is sort of like my pick. This would this would be my pick for, you know, first try from Blasoma because I do think this is one of the better Blasoma products. Um, so it's the Photonic Light Shifting Solution. It's their broad spectrum SPF 25. Let's see, it's UVA, UVB protection. It's made with non-nano zinc oxide. It is bigger than it used to be. So it used to be one ounce, I believe, and it is now um, 1.6 ounces. So they've added, so here's the old packaging and the new packaging. I do really like the new packaging. So it is $52, which I think for 1.6 ounces of a SPF in Green Beauty is pretty standard, pretty affordable. A lot of the products from Blasoma are pretty affordable. I don't think they have one single product that's over $100. I believe the highest their prices go is like 72. Yeah, their most expensive product, which is actually one that I have is $72. So for 30% off like $72 and under, it's a pretty good deal. So this is made for all skin types. All skin types can use this, whatever skin type you've got. Like I said, it's UVA, UVB, um, mineral-based sunscreen, non-nano zinc oxide. So it's made with things like argan, tamanu, sesame seed oil, red raspberry, blackberry, squalane, niacinamide, um, black tea, gatu cola, hydrangea, violet leaf, and then it's got axazanthin in it, which gives it a, it, it gives it the appearance that it's got a tint, um, but it's actually not tinted. So this just, it rubs in clear I, I did a little too much for my hand, <laughs> um, but it does. It rubs in clear. The Axazanthin just sort of helps it not give it a cast of any kind, but it doesn't tint your skin. So any skin tone could use this and not have any issues. But this is, like I said, it's my probably my favorite Blasoma product. Um, I think it's a great product. It really works well under makeup. And it's a product made for, you know, all ages, all skin types. 
Um, I think that's a great product if you're looking for an SPF for the summer. Um, that's one that I'd recommend because it is, like I said, it's affordable, it's got great ingredients in it, it offers great sun protection, 25, and I haven't had an issue using it and, it, you know, works well under makeup on top of other skincare. So that's the first, um, the first product we'll talk about. And that's like my top recommendation if you haven't tried anything from Blissoma. Um, that's definitely my first recommendation. A couple of other older products um, that I've tried. And this would be my next pick if you've never tried anything from them and you're looking to pick anything up. It's their Mild Rice Facial Cleanser, which I think it is, um, it's called Fresh Mild Rice Face Cleanser now. It's $39, so it's got 18 active ingredients. It's made for normal, dry, problematic skin types. This is one of the products that I'd first heard about um, from Blasoma. I remember a long, long time ago um, when there was a lot less happening in the green beauty space. Um, this was like one of the products that I had heard about and as one that I was wanting to try because it was supposed to be great for acne and problematic skin. This is a really great cleanser. You know, it's not meant to remove makeup, so you would use this as a second step in your skin cleansing. If you, you know, wore makeup, you'd remove your makeup first and then use this. Or if, you know, you're not using um, makeup, this could be your only cleanse. I do really, really like it. I think it's a great mild cleanser. It really does clean the skin well without feeling stripped because it's meant to leave all the oils on your skin um, but it's made with brown rice flour willow bark apricot kernel hemp sunflower uh, chickweed and rose are just a few of the ingredients mm. this would be my second pick um, and mine is actually it's I think mine is on the verge of like being pretty expired the expiration date on it is um, next month but the last time I used it I noticed sort of like a film on my skin so it might be time to replace mine but that's a really good cleanser. If you are someone who's got sort of like problematic skin and you're looking for like a mild, <laughs> if you're looking for like a mild cleanser. So let's see, the other two older products that I've got, this is the Refine um, Clay Renewal Treatment. This is $40. It's got 26 active ingredients. It's an exfoliation mask for all skin types, but especially acne, uh, blemish prone skin with redness and inflammation. It's got razul clay, willow bark, celery juice, chickweed, fennel, rose, olive leaf, cranberry, Daddy, red banana. raspberry. What's up, baby? Banana. I'll give you a banana in a minute. Can I finish? Um, so it says... So you feel the exfoliating action. So it's got live celery juice enzymes in it that um, help deep clean problem skin. Dullness, flaking, blemishes, fine lines, all benefit from um, mineral rich razul clay, concentrated willow bark and licorice, even skin tone for bright results. So I've actually used this one quite a bit and I do really like it. It is a pretty mild, um, a pretty mild treatment mask. It's not one that you'll feel sort of like working on your skin. And it's one of those ones where you don't really notice results right away, but if as, as you use it over time, you notice, it's like, a, it's sort of a more gentle exfoliating like enzyme mask than something like the Maya Chia one that I tried a couple of videos ago that is a pretty, pretty intense enzyme mask. If you're, if you're wanting something that's like an enzymatic, but you are, you know, you've got more sensitive skin, you can't really handle like the really, um, powerful enzymes that would be a good one to try because it's, it is very gentle but it does take because it's it's sort of more gentle it does sort of take longer to see results at least that i've found it's definitely not a one and done you know you see results immediately kind of mask you will notice you know like nicer smoother skin but to get like the kind of enzymatic results that i think um most people are looking for it is helicopter it is um it is one that you'll need to use more so the last product that i've got here from you know the old packaging it's their Awake um, Morning Firming Facial Moisture. This is one that I didn't write down because I couldn't remember if, the, if this was the one that I had then I didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't finish going back and it, whatever. So this is a lightweight sort of day cream, but it's got almost like a serum-like texture. It's very liquidy. So it says glow with energy and natural vitality. This lightweight herbal lotion firms, hydrates, depuffs, and tones without greasiness or shine. Botanical antioxidants with flavonoids fortify your skin for whatever lies ahead. Four cold pressed, unrefined skin oils maintain skin supple texture all day. It's got 21 actives. Um, it's got omegas, vitamins, frulic acid. It's got aloe, lemon balm, eye bright, uh, coconut oil it does have in there, tamanu, cranberry, red raspberry, hemp, heather flowers, juniper, palm rosa, um, blue yarrow. I do really like this. It is a very nice, like light wheat, um, sort of like day, 
and it's not like white like most sort of day creams are and it does have like a much more liquidy texture than um, I think most people would be used to but it is, it's very nice. It's light and it's hydrating and it does a really good job keeping the skin moisturized. Um, I'm wearing it today underneath all of this. Um, but yeah, I really like that as well. I think that's, if you're looking for a good, if you're someone who's got um, problematic skin and you're looking for like a lightweight, um, you don't want something heavy because you have oilier skin, that would be a nice lightweight facial moisturizer. Okay, so then I have three products from the new, um the newer packaging that i can talk about um most of them i'm still you know like basing a lot of my thoughts on because they're newer to me i haven't had them that long this is one that they actually wanted to focus on so when they contacted me about the new line and if i wanted you know to try some stuff from their line they wanted to feature this this is the aura uh, phyto brightening serum so this one is their most expensive product it's 72 dollars um, it, 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 it was their old Amend Facial Solar Repair Serum. So a couple of their products got name changes as well as packaging changes. This one was the um, Amend Facial Solar Repair Serum. It's got 14 active ingredients and it's made for all skin types. Um, it's made to help with sun damage, hyperpigmentation, and fine lines. So I did run out of my Fit Glow Vita Active Serum. So I am using this in place of the Fit Glow Vita Active Serum. So I haven't been using it long enough to know if it's, it does, it definitely doesn't work as fast as the Vita Active Serum I've noticed. Um, I mean, like nothing does really though. That stuff is very active, but I'll have to keep you updated, you know, like as time goes on whether or not I think this is good for that. Um, but it's got rooibos, burdock, licorice root, acai, um, cranberry, pomegranate, coenzyme Q10 in, in it. It is, it's a nice, it's very, it's, a, it's again, another like lightweight sort of like serum. It is liquidy again, it's another liquidy texture. All the, the products from Blissoma definitely have a very nice color. They're, none of them are like, you know, white, like they've had all the, uh, I don't know, color bleached out of them. But that is a nice serum, one that I am playing with. And if you're someone who's looking for products that help with sun damage or hyperpigmentation, um, I can't speak to whether or not it works yet, um, but it is nice. I am really enjoying it so far. Um, and I am using that one day and night, whereas I was only using the Vita Active Serum during the day just to preserve it. <laughs> um, okay, so then I've got two more. I've got a toner. This is the Serene Sacred Waters Tonique. So this one is $32. Their toners are pretty affordable. It's got seven active ingredients, and this one specifically was made for ultra-sensitive um, skin types, but it can be used by all skin types, but it's made with uh, sensitive skin in mind. Holy basil, rose, gatu cola, geishan root, hops, MSM. Um, it's got a lot of good stuff in it. I, I'm not quite keen on the scent of it. It's got a very interesting scent. I don't know if it's a combination of like the holy basil and the hops i don't know it's not it's not the most pleasant scent um and I, the mist isn't also super fine i do also that is not my favorite thing about this too is the scent is one and then it's also not a very fine mist so i can't like mist it on top of makeup because um it comes out really strongly and not finely you know like some mists like the wabi sabi botanicals mists are very fine i can spray those over makeup and not a big deal the five yina mists i can spray over makeup um, but this one has a very sort of like aggressive mist it's not fine it's not as aggressive as some that i've tried but it is it could be finer they could have looked for a finer um, mist on it so i did try one of their toniques in when they were old but i couldn't remember oh. which one it was but there was one that I liked a lot more and I can't I wish I wish I knew which one it was because this one isn't my favorite but it is I mean it, it is soothing it is um it would be good for sensitive skin but um not my favorite probably not one that I would repurchase I would try one of the other two so this is the last one I've got this is the lavish beta glucan mask this runs you fifty dollars So this is um, a mask for ultra sensitive, reactive, mature, irritated, dry, stress, inflamed skin. So if you have very, very like problematic, sensitive skin, this is what your uh, this is what you guys would um, enjoy. 
So it's got 18 active ingredients. It's got oat milk, kapuku butter, reishi, a mushroom, maitake mushroom, St. John's wort, self-heal, passion flower, pumpkin, pomegranate, plantain leaf. So lots of things in there to help with um, you know, stressed, irritated, soothing skin. I tried it once as like an overnight mask, like as sort of like a moisturizer, but I didn't like it that way. And then I did try it once as like an actual leave-on mask, take it off, um, and it did feel very nice. Again, I think it's another one of those masks that you're gonna see you're gonna see um, results from like over time. It's not something that it's like um, immediate, like any noticeable immediate differences in um, other than I had smoother, softer skin. I have used other masks that did give me a lot more moisture, but mushroom is a great ingredient if you're looking for like more moisture because um, Do the Daphna's mask has mushroom in it. I think it's got reishi and maitake in it as well. And that one's great for moisture. And um, I think over time, this one will help give a lot of moisture to the skin. So those are sort of like little short mini reviews on some products that I've got. I definitely recommend the Phototonic, um, you know, the sunscreen. I really like that. The, the Mild Rice Cleanser is also really, really nice. Um, I do also really like the Awake and the Refine um, mask and moisturizer. And then the Aura is also very nice. Um, I mean, I like it all. I think, it, I think they all... I think Blastoma makes really good products and the ingredients that they put into their products are very, very nice. But definitely this is a good time to try out some of their products if you've been interested in them. Um, you know, 30% off, you really can't beat, really can't beat that. So I thought I would just give you a couple of other Blastoma products that I really would like to try. Um, I really would like to try their Faceless Clear Condition Face Oil. It's for clogged pores, redness, irritation, sensitivities, all things that I have. Um, it's got hemp, cranberry, watermelon, blackberry, tamanu, sacha inchi. So really great for, you know, like inflammation and clogged pores. Um, then I'd like their, their um, Glow Good Earth Exfoliant Powder. So an exfoliation powder for hyperpigmentation, lackluster skin, congested, sluggish skin. So again, all things that I'm like a big fan of. It's got oat powder, coconut water, coconut fruit powder in it, brown rice, green coffee, turmeric, papaya, enzymes in it. I might pick that up. <laughs> um, then the Adapt Tonique. I think this might be the one, I think this might be the one that I like. I couldn't really remember because the, the name changed and I couldn't remember what the old name was. But this one is made for acne oily combination skin. Um, it's got green tea, red clover, calendula, cantaloupe, um, aloe, rose, geranium, and bergamot. So I, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen cantaloupe in an ingredients list before. Sounds like it'd be beautiful though. And then the Smooth A Plus Correcting Serum, which is again for oily, problematic skin, breakout, prone, redness. Um, it's got coriander, fennel, rose, dandelion, witch hazel, carrot. Um, obviously I'm just giving you like a, a small fraction of the ingredients in each one, just sort of like main ingredients, but. Yeah, there are definitely still some products from Blastoma that I'd love to try. And what Blastoma did with their um, rebranding is they sort of created skin ecosystems. Let me pull up the website and I can tell you. Um, so the skin ecosystems. So they basically have like created, again, like ecosystems based on sort of what your skin is going through or needs. So they've got five different ecosystem. So sustain is, um, it's to help you keep your skin that way. It's vitamin shot for skin fosters, lasting harmony to give you softness, hydration, and radiant health. So it's for normal and combination skin and basic support for any age. So, you know, if you're, if you've got pretty normal skin and you just really need to sort of sustain like your good skin, you can shop, you can shop the sustain line. It'll, it'll take, if you press the button for whatever one, it'll take you to products that are um, meant for that ecosystem. Um, there's Rescue for, which is more um, geared towards my skin type, where it's targeted um, formulas help to deep cleanse pores, keep them clear and healthy, um, encourage a healthy microbiome, emergency assistance for redness, congestion, imbalanced oil levels um, to bring back equilib equilibrium and help correct troubled skin. There's Soothe, which is obviously for dry, extremely sensitive, allergy prone skin. Um, they help rebuild the lipid layer, help retain more hydration, increase resilience. Then there's Renew, which is for mature skin with dryness, discoloration, and fine lines that may be showing signs of hormonal changes. Um, they have advanced natural antioxidants in them that replace what skin loses from age and stress. And then there's the Defend, 
um, which is for all skin types and all ages to maintain the healthy look of skin. So I would sort of put defend in with um, sustain. It says damage to skin builds up daily. Defend offers a cocktail of super powered plants and protective compounds to fortify and repair the look of skin exposed to sun and pollution. Or it's if you're, guess, if you're living in like, um, well, all that's in the defend system is aura Phyto brightening serum and the photonic light shifting solution. So, um, but really, sort of like dependent on you know what your skin needs. You can sort of look through the products that Blasoma offers and you know pick out a few that seem like they would be good for you. I mean, I've sort of got like a combination of like Defend here. I've got you know the Rescue. I've got um, Soothe. Yeah, I think I think I've got. I don't know, I have like a good a good mix of things here. So anyway, I hope that this was helpful if you've been looking at trying some Blissoma or if you heard about the Blissoma sale and you're thinking about um, partaking. I hope that my insights into some of the products were at least mildly helpful. Obviously it's not a full review or anything because I haven't been trying these products long enough. Some of them. I mean, other ones I've been playing with for quite a while, like the uh, Photonic I've had a while. That one is definitely one that I'd recommend. Um, you know, the stuff in the older packaging I've had for quite a while and I do really, really enjoy those. I mean, I have enjoyed pretty much everything that I've tried from Blasoma with um, the exception of the tonique. I mean, this is this just isn't my scent jam. I def and I definitely feel like you need to enjoy the scent of products. I mean, they may work, but I mean, it is more enjoyable to use something that you like the scent of, right? So anyway. I don't know, maybe some other people would really like the scent of that, but it's just not, it's just not for me. But I mean, overall, I really do enjoy the products that I have tried from Blissoma. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope that, um, yeah, I hope that this was helpful. <laughs> so let me know if you guys decide to partake in any of this sale happenings from Blissoma this weekend. And um, I don't know, let me know if you maybe you want a recommendation for something, but um, I might I might pick up that that exfoliation powder. That sounds really, really nice. I mean, I have a crap ton of exfoliation powders, but I do really love, I really love my exfoliation. So I will see you guys in my next one.